let them out of your sex dungeon. According to our friends at the FBI Crime Lab, between 7 and 14 people watching this right now are keeping a prisoner in a sex dungeon. Whether it's an abandoned warehouse where some dude's naked body is chained to a radiator, or just a student nurse duct tape to the floor of your van. But it's the new year, and it's the perfect time to call Ali Ali Oxen Free and let, let them out, out of your, your sex dungeon. dungeon. Sure. You've got a soft spot for that young lady, and it's fun to read to her from the book of Revelation while you stroke your tiny genitals and weep. And we know what you're thinking. Hey, if I let her go, they're gonna catch me, lock me up, and throw away the key. Well, in many states, that would be true. But in Washoe County, our cleared crimes percentage is about 3%. So there's a very good chance we will never find you or even begin to know where to look. And Junior, why don't you tell the nice folks with sex dungeons out there what our Sheriff's Department DNA Crime Lab is like. The Reno Sheriff's Department does not have a DNA Crime Lab. We do have a mimeograph machine, but we're not allowed to touch it because somebody broke it with their genitalia. When it comes to letting someone out of your sex dungeon, the, the fun, fun is contagious. contagious. Oh, why hello, America. We here at the Reno Sheriff's Department know that the worst part of the holiday is spending time with your family. Lucky for me this year, I'm alone. My Uncle Buzzy went missing. I'm pretty sure he just holed himself up in his bunker in Truckee. Oh well, more sweet potato casserole for me and the cats. If you weren't able to get out of being around your relatives this holiday season, we have some tips on how to get through it peacefully so things don't escalate and you don't end up having to call on us. That's right, Jim. Once we've scarfed down our Christmas pudding and slipped into our house pants, the last thing we want to do is come break up a fight between you and your toothless cousin Ricky over who's going to drive Grandma to her dialysis appointment next week. And now, deputies will show you how a typical holiday scenario could easily get out of hand and how to resolve it peaceably. Could you please pass the butter, Grandma? Hey, what the Grandma? Why do you hurt? Start shit with me. Come on, come on, come on, get him off, get him off. So this holiday, always have fresh batteries in your taser. Or fuck it, just call the fire department. <laughs> <laughs> I am the ghost of Christmas DUIs past. DUIs you got in previous holiday seasons, drunk driving or buzzed driving. And those DUIs have come back to haunt you, ruining your resume, your chances at child custody, and your credit rating. <laughs> I am the ghost of DUI's future. If you get one more DUI next year, drunk driving, or even worse, buzzed driving, you will lose your driver's license, your car, your livelihood. Whoa. I am the ghost of DUI's present. Did you know there are a million DUI checkpoints out there this very time to catch you if you're drunk driving? or a million times worse, buzzed. Hey, hey guys, hey guys, what? How does somebody change their ways and not drunk drive again if we have no Ebenezer Scrooge and three ghosts? Not it. Not it. What? Hey, you can't not it. I don't look good in the hat. Ooh. I did it last year and they put Ebenezer Screwed on the thing. That wasn't, that's not funny. It's a little bit funny. Come on, do it. Give me the hat. Give me the fun. Yeah, I'll be the thing. Okay. Yeah. Oh no, ghosts, you spirits, show me no more. I will change my ways. I will not drug drive, or a million times worse, buzzed driving. Well, wait, stop, stop it. Did they put the chiron up again? Yeah. Ebenezer screwed. You think that's funny? It's 